हेलो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कन्वेंशनल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ वेरियस पाइप जॉइंट्स एंड वॉल्स सो दिस पाइप जॉइंट्स एंड वॉल्स आर यूज्ड इन पाइप जॉइंट्स मींस व्हेन वी हैव टू जॉइन टू पाइप्स देन द पाइप जॉइंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड आल्सो टू जॉइन द टू पाइप्स इन 90 डिग्री द एल्बो इज रिक्वायर्ड and so so these are the pipe joints that is elbow coupling cap so these are the pipe joints and walls why walls are required walls are required to control the fluid flow means fluid is flowing through the pipe so you have to control the flow of fluid so to control the flow of fluid various walls are used so in this lecture we will see the various that is conventions for various walls that is globe wall gate wall check wall these are the walls so what is the exact convention for these walls so this convention we will see so if you observe in this chart then this chart will contain first column is component component means the name of the component next is that is single line symbol means that convention is shown in single line and next column is double line double line symbol this is double line symbol from double line symbol we will more clearly, clearly see the picture of that component this is the convention that is single line symbol and this is the component so now we will see the one by one pipe joint so first is coupling so what is coupling so coupling means to couple to couple means to join two pipes if you want to join the two pipes then you require the coupling so in this double line you will observe this is one pipe and this is the another pipe when you have to join these two pipes this is the coupler or coupling this is the coupling coupling is used to join two pipes so what is this single line symbol so you have to draw a single line and this vertical line will show the coupling so this is the symbol for coupling so it is very easy that is single line symbol of coupling what is coupling coupling is used to join two pipes then next is cap uh two pack or two stop the flow of fluid at one end of the pipe so cap is used so this will cover the one end of pipe so this is the cap and this is the single line symbol of cap next next is plug plug is also used to stop the that is to stop or to cover the one end of pipe so this is the plug so what is the difference between plug and cap cap means to stop the fluid and plug is also to stop the fluid but this is having some square or extended square portion at this end so symbol of plug is one triangle one vertical line and horizontal line this is the plug next is t t is used to join one horizontal pipe and one vertical pipe if you have to join the two pipes such that one pipe is horizontal and one is vertical in coupling you are joining two pipes which are horizontal but in t the pipes are one pipe is horizontal and another pipe is vertical so to join such type of pipes this t is used so this is the t and this is the single line symbol of t next is elbow so what is use of elbow if you observe this elbow so this is 90 degree elbow means to join the two pipes at 90 degree if you want to join two pipes at 90 degree which are perpendicular to each other then you require this elbow so this elbow will join two pipes at 90 degree so this is the single line symbol of 90 degree elbow <coughs> next is 90 degree elbow turned down so this is the same that is which is turned down means if you place this in vertical manner which is turned down means another end is downward side so this is the symbol for 90 degree elbow which is turned down <coughs> next is 45 degree elbow there are two types of elbows one is 90 degree elbow another is 45 degree elbow that is this angle is 45 degree means the angle between two pipes is 45 degree then we will use 45 degree l so next we will see 
नेक्स्ट दैट इज रिड्यूसर और रिड्यूसिंग कपलिंग नेक्स्ट इज रिड्यूसर और रिड्यूसर कपलिंग तो वट इज रिड्यूसर इफ टू पाइप आर हैविंग डिफरेंट डायमीटर मीन्स वन पाइप इज है लार्जर डायमीटर एंड अनदर पाइप इज है स्मॉलर डायमीटर सो टू जॉइन सच टाइप ऑफ पाइप वट इज यूज कपलिंग इज नॉट यूज कपलिंग इज यूज टू जॉइन द डायमीटर सेम डायमीटर पाइप एंड रिड्यूसर इज यूज टू जॉइन टू डिफरेंट डायमीटर पाइप इज जॉइन बाय यूजिंग रिड्यूसर सो दिस इज द सिंगल लाइन सिंबल ऑफ रिड्यूसर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज यूनियन यूनियन इज यूज टू जॉइन द टू पाइप सो टू जॉइन टू पाइप यूनियन इज यूज सो दिस इज द डबल लाइन सिंबल ऑफ यूनियन एंड दिस इज द सिंगल लाइन सिंबल ऑफ यूनियन दैट इज कन्वेंशनल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ यूनियन नेक्स्ट इज क्रॉस सो वॉट इज क्रॉस टू जॉइन वन ऑरिजेंटल एंड वन वर्टिकल पाइप So this is the cross means this is the plus side. So the, to join the plus side or to join one vertical pipe, one horizontal pipe, this cross is used. So this is the single line symbol of cross. Next is walls. So up to this we see the various pipe joints. Next is walls. Walls are used to control the flow of fluid. So first wall is that is globe wall. So what is globe wall? So globe wall is used to control the flow of fluid. So this is the one horizontal pipe and another pipe which is pipe which is inclined at some angle. So to control the flow of fluid, so this is the globe wall is used. So this is the single line symbol of globe wall. Next, next is lateral. So this is the lateral. This is the type of lateral wall. So this wall is used to control the flow of fluid flowing through this pipe. So this is the handle. By using this handle, you can control the flow of fluid which is flowing through this pipe. So this is the single line symbol of lateral wall. Next is gate wall. So gate wall is also used to control the flow of fluid. So this is the single line. So this is the double line symbol, and this is the single line symbol of gate wall. Next is check wall. That is last is check wall. Check wall is also used to check the flow of fluid passing through the pipe. So this is the double line symbol, and this is the single line symbol of check wall. Check wall will allow the flow of fluid only in one direction. That's why this arrow, in this direction is shown. This flow of fluid will be allowed from left to right only. That is one directional flow. Will be uh, controlled by using this check wall. Okay, so in this lecture we see various types of pipe joints and various types of walls. Thank you.